Hey, hello there, Ravens. I've never seen you in another video, you guys. And uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm in India from all the Indian speaking stuff. But today was a much requested video that you guys wanted me to do. So let me just go to Google. It's good. I'm not even sure what this is, if it's Google or not. So um, I have 15 minutes to record this, which is plenty of time. You guys wanted me to make some more serious videos. Uh, you like my trade binders because it's a bit more serious than normal. As you can see, I'm not signed in, but still. I'm not going to show what I signed in with. Um, this is a screen recorder for 15 minutes, which is epic. Everything good happens in 15 minutes. Um, so, it's probably going to be like a that's what she said, like right here or something. You see the mouse, right? Uh, hopefully you see the mouse. Um, yeah, you do. I'm watching the recording right now, but, um, anyway, so we're going to be talking about, um, Oh yeah, the A button is a bit. Oh god, this is so annoying. Um, so we already wasted one minute as always because we do that. Alright. TCG. Enter! Alright guys. So as you can see, I did this because you guys wanted me to talk about rotations. Wow, that was easy. I found the thing I was looking for. Okay, rotations. Now, um, as you can see right here, we have type Flosion, Meganium, and for alligator. Basically, rotations are or wow, those double rotations are is what rotations are. Well, what rotations are is what rotations are are. Wow, this is horrible already. So basically, what happens is, in rotations, you have specifically Pokemon that you can never use again unless the text, freaking car in the background, is reprinted. Now, what this means is that, you know, Catcher, right? It's going to get disqualified because the new three sets that are getting eliminated is Pokemon Black and White, Emerging Powers, and Noble Victory, which means you cannot use any cards from there unless they've been reprinted, which means... All clean playing decks from black and white must be stopped. Otherwise, um, I'll just leave it there. You don't guys don't really care. I probably just pointed out now you care. So, um, all of those decks will have to be stopped. Otherwise, it will be illegal decks, which you can play with your friends with, but you cannot take to a legal tournament. So, um, don't worry, you're not gonna be arrested, but um, I make it sound like you'll be arrested, but you can't use it. So, since you cannot use it. A lot of decks will go down, and that's what happened with Typhlosion. Now, before I talk about how and why this happens, I'm going to show you the card Typhlosion, and I'll show you what card it works so good with. It's called. Oh, wait one second, it's so annoying. You guessed it, Reshiram Typhlosion is the deck. Now, these two worked so well together that it didn't... It was scary how well they worked together, like... They beat me a lot. Discard an energy card attached to Typhlosion, discard an energy card attached to a defending Pokemon. Now, that by itself is horrible for 3 for 70, but think of it this way. You get to discard on your opponent's energy, plus after Burner had... Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your discard pile for a fire energy attached to one of your Pokemon. If you do so, put one damage encounter on that Pokemon. This power can't be used on type explosion by special on type explosion if it is um affected by special conditions. Now the reason why this is good is because have you seen the Pokemon Reshiram's first move? It runs on damage. It does 10 more damage for each damage encounter on it. So if Typhlosion could just stay out per turn, you could do that. I mean, that's just really good. Plus, it takes 3 fire energy to do that. Well, 3. Well, 2 plus 1. So that's on its own a great deck. But they had to add more, like, Nine Tails and other stuff. You could. It's a variant for all the others. But a lot of people like to use Nine Tails, which I will show you too. Nine Tails. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may discard three fire energies, attach um, three fire energies from your hand. If you do, draw 
Um, well, this doesn't really matter anymore because Roast Reveal, it, it's, there's different cards that can do that too, but, um, that's fine. Um, but the main Typhlosion, once Typhlosion was eliminated from the deck, wow, that was horrible. It just went downhill fast. Nothing could keep up with it going so downhill. New decks were made. Typhlosion Rush Ram was forgotten. Now, this was a great deck on its own. Sadly, this happens. Now, the deck, now the card we will be talking about today is, in fact, well, I'm trying to I thought it was longer. Mm -hmm. Clink Clang. Clink Clang. Okay, I'm looking for a certain type. Okay, here it is. The shift gear gear grind. Uh, as often as you like. Um, as often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may move a uh, metal energy to one of your Pokemon from one attached to one of your Pokemon to another. This energy acceleration on its own. Gear grind. Flip two coins. Oh, that's really good too. Uh, if you're reading that, flip two coins obviously means times two, which means, guess what? With the flip teeny, all you need is one heads, and guess what happens? You get to do 160 damage, and hit QRM or whatever ice type you're fighting, just right out of the ballpark, or whatever you like to call it. It's just too epic on its own. Um, I once did use a clink clang deck, but, um, I did use flip teeny with it, but whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but, um, that's, um, a downside to this, but now here's an upside to these rotations. More cards can be used nowadays. That means it's a certain limitation. It's because if you have every card in Pokemon that's been ever used, and you'd be using base set Charizard for all I know. So that's pretty far back. That's horrible if you still use base set Charizard, but with your friends, it's fine, but, like, you should evolve your... Playing thing, but the good thing is, Pokemon Catcher. Now, this card has been reprint. Oh, that's a cool full art. I'm, I'll be look at that later. But this card has been reprinted in Plasma Blast, which means the playability is back. If the card's been reprinted with the same artwork or without, but with the same text, you can use it. Which is a great thing, is because a lot of important cards have to be reprinted for us to use it. Now, if Battle Boost runs from Mewtwo EX, and the next rotation will be Dragon Exalted, um, Dark Explorers, and next destiny is Man, that's gonna suck really bad. I mean, seriously, that's gonna be the worst thing ever. We're gonna lose a lot of our vital EXs, but of course, Keldeo, Black Hiram, and a lot of others have, of course, stepped up to the challenge, and we now do respect them for all the work they have done. But still, it's gonna be a bummer, and I kinda do want to continue on with this Pokemon No Trend thing, and that's the doorbell, which also reminds me I need to pause the video. Um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, press all. Like, I'll see you guys next time. And this is called, um, TCG of the month thing, so basically write down in the comments below what you want me to talk about next time, and basically that's it. And if I miss something, go ahead and write down in the comments or message me, and I will add that to this video. Bye bye. See you guys later.